Thanks for watching this Tech to Connect video tutorial. The topic of this tutorial is Introduction to Built-in Accessibility Features of Windows 10 Hearing. Changing your device's accessibility features allows you to customize Windows 10 to match your unique needs and preferences. In this video, I will discuss how to locate your device's accessibility features in Settings, and then I'll provide a brief overview of the accessibility options for hearing. You'll start by locating the Windows icon in the bottom left corner of your screen. Click on this icon and it will bring up a menu. On the lower left side of the menu will be a variety of icons. Locate the one that looks like a small gear, labeled Settings. Click on this icon. Once in your settings, find the Ease of Access option. Click on this icon and it will open the accessibility settings. On the left hand side will be a variety of tabs divided into three main categories, vision, hearing, and interaction. In this video, we'll be discussing the second category, hearing. The first option for hearing is audio. So we'll click on audio and this will make your device easier to hear or use without sound. So to make your device easier to hear by changing the device volume, you'll use a slider bar. So the way to do this is we'll hover our mouse pointer over the bar, click and hold the left mouse key and we'll slide it to the left to lower the volume for the device or any apps that you may run or you can slide it to the right to increase the volume. Here show audio alerts visually so this will select how visual alerts for notifications are displayed. So currently there are no visual alerts. They're all set for auditory on my device. But if I hit the drop down menu, so if this little arrow, if I click on that with my mouse, it gives me some other options. So what I could set it for is the title bar of the active window would flash or perhaps the active window would flash or the entire screen might flash if I have some sort of a, an audio alert. Right now I'm going to keep it at no visual alert, the default setting, so I'll click on that bar again and it returns it to the default setting. Our next option for hearing is closed captions. So I'll click on that. And this makes your device easier to use without sound by displaying audio as text, similar to what you have on your television. So here we have our sample box that has a background scene and then it has text written in white. So here you have a few different options by using these drop down menus to change how those closed captions appear. So first off, the caption color, if we click once with our mouse. And right now, the captions are written in white, but we could change that to blue. If I click on blue. You can see it's changed the text color to blue. I'm going to take that back though and click on it again, change it back to white. Then this is transparency. So this affects how dark the text looks against the background. The caption style. If we wanted to say change it to cursive, this option, 
I could click on cursive. And now the text has changed to look more like cursive. So I'm going to come back down to caption style, the drop down menu, click on it again. And I'm going to return it back up to the default setting, taking it out of cursive. As you can see, it changed the look of the text. There's also size. Let's see if I can keep going here. So we can increase the size. I'll change it up to 200%. So it has made the size of the text much larger. If I come back down to caption size, click on the drop down menu. And if I take it back up to default and click, it returns to what it originally appeared as. And then effects. And this has some shadowing and, and other kinds of effects. I'm going to just leave it on default right now, though. All right. And then we can also change that background scene. You can change the color of the background with a drop down menu and the transparency. All right. And this has been a brief overview of the Windows 10 accessibility features for hearing. Thanks for tuning in. Please make sure to check out the rest of our video tutorials on the Text to Connect website.